It's getting a little prehistoric here in pre-K. Happy Sunday guys. So I'm here in my classroom because if you remember, I was in subbing in my school on Friday and I kind of had high hopes of maybe coming in and getting a little bit set up because March is a new month. So that means I have new centers and a new theme in my classroom. But at the end of Friday, I was so exhausted that I just told myself, come in on the weekend when you have a fresh brain and you're a little bit more relaxed. And so that is what I'm doing. My goal for today is to definitely get all of my centers set up and get everything planned and prepped for next week. So I will uh, take you guys along with me setting up for my March theme and doing a little bit of planning. So let's get to it. I'm going to be doing a fun activity the first day that my kiddos get back on Tuesday next week. We are actually going to be doing a dinosaur dig. Um, over the summer, I found these little hatching dinosaur eggs that I'm going to hide in this little sand bin that I'm going to show you guys. And essentially, um, you just put them in water and the eggs crack and then there's a little dinosaur inside. So I thought that this would be a fun way um, to introduce the dinosaur theme to the kiddos. I also have um, little dinosaur bones hidden inside the sand as well so we're gonna try and get all the bones out and the bones actually make um, a skeleton of a dinosaur so then we'll put that together but I think the kids are really gonna be excited about this I'm excited about it so how could the kids not be so I'm excited to show you guys what they think of this next week and I'm also gonna show you a little sneak peek of what it looks like before the kids get in there and start alrighty so here is a closer look and my little dinosaur dig. So I have actual dinosaurs in there and then you guys can see the little bones that we're gonna have to um, dig and get. And this is a closer look at those dinosaur eggs that I talked about and like I said, you just add water and the shells crack and then you have a little dinosaur. Morning guys, so it is Tuesday, the beginning of the week, the beginning of a new month. And that means a new theme in my classroom. If you cannot tell by my t-shirt, it's getting prehistoric here in pre-K. We are doing dinosaurs for the month of March. I am so excited. Today, we're going to kick off the theme by doing an actual dinosaur dig. Basically, we are going to be digging for dinosaur eggs and digging for fossils today during our table time as well as some other cute activities that I will show you guys at the end of today. But I got here super early this morning because um, I created a whole bunch of things over the weekend for uh, my new theme and for my classroom. So I need to do some printing and do some laminating to get ready to go for today. So uh, I will check back in with you guys probably the end of the day.
Hi guys, we made it to the end of the day today on Tuesday and I'm laminating and talking at the same time because I have so much stuff to laminate for whatever reason. Um, my kids absolutely loved um, the dinosaur stuff that we did today. We, um, at my teacher center, we did a dinosaur egg craft. So today we basically colored their baby dinosaurs and did their eggs with the bingo daubers and then tomorrow they will cut the crack in their egg and then we'll glue it on a piece of paper and then i just use those little brads that you stick through and then the arms kind of flatten on the other side so that they can actually open and close the eggshell and the dinosaur digs to find the hidden dinosaur eggs was awesome it was such a big hit we all found our dinosaur eggs and now they are sitting in water and hatching the kids are really excited about it. They absolutely loved the dinosaur obstacle course challenge that I set up in gym. Essentially what I did is I used a bunch of just basic functional movement things like walking over top of a bench. That was our dinosaur ridge as if we were um, walking over top of a steep cliff and then we did dinosaur hops and the kids were just hopping on lines today but tomorrow they will actually be hopping on dinosaur feet which i'm super excited about and then um we did what i called a dinosaur coolie so it was just a mat a tall block mat with mats kind of going on an angle coming off and then the kids had to roll down the coolie and off the valley and then they did a flying pterodactyl running loop around the gym and I could not stop them from be pretending to be dinosaurs when we came back in for snack like I had to actually tell them okay we can be dinosaurs in gym but once we get into the classroom no more dinosaurs so I'm thinking my kids are really loving this dinosaur theme I know I do. Honestly, dinosaurs is my favorite theme <laughs> for whatever reason that we do all year. And right now, because it is March, I am getting set up for our silly leprechaun. Um, we're going to be doing our own kind of version of making a, making a leprechaun trap. So I've created this little resource here and I am just in the midst of laminating everything. So... I will check back in with you guys tomorrow and I will show you what our silly leprechaun decided to do in our classroom. Morning guys, it is Wednesday today in my classroom and our silly leprechaun decided to show up last night and for some reason all of our dinosaurs are missing. So I'm going to show you guys what it is that Larry the leprechaun has done in our classroom. So as you can see, all of our dinosaurs are missing in blocks. So I created these little footprints and then I just got the shamrock confetti at the dollar store. And so every day he's leaving us a note. This one says, hello my friend, friends, St. Patrick's Day is near. And that means all of us leprechauns are out to play some tricks. Your classroom looked like a lot of fun. So I thought I would have a little fun of my own. Did you know that leprechauns love four-leaf clovers better than three-leaf clovers? Your little green friend, Larry. So today my kids are gonna have to see if they can figure out where our dinosaurs have gone missing. There they are. So there's some more little green footprints. And he put all of our dinosaurs in a net. So today's challenge that we are doing with the leprechaun trap is, um, he talked about how he prefers four leaf clovers better than three leaf clovers. So basically I'm just gonna throw all of these on the front carpet and then the kids are gonna have to sort the clovers into four piles and then we're actually going to build um, the trap today. So the cardboard box and everything. And if there's still lots of time left, then I just printed some extra shamrocks that we can color green. The kids can color and we can cut them out and cover the trap with them.
I'm not in my classroom and I don't have any footage from Thursday because I got pink eye for the second time in a row. I don't know, I'm just not having very good luck this year when it comes to sickness. Um, but we finished off our leprechaun trap. The day that I was gone, I had a sub um, do that up for me. They had to color some rainbows to put on the trap. And then you guys did see some footage of the following week where we made gold coins to put underneath the trap. And sadly, we did not catch Larry the Leprechaun, but he did leave us some pretty tasty treats. So I always enjoy doing that silly Leprechaun bit with my kiddos. I did it last year and they absolutely loved it. So I had to do it again this year. And if you are interested in my How to Catch a Leprechaun resource bundle, I have it in my TPT store, so I will put the link below so you guys can maybe get that for your classroom next year if you are wanting to add some St. Patrick's Day fun in your classroom. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in to my video. And yeah, it was a great St. Patrick's Day, and the kids are loving the dinosaurs. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video so other teachers, not only pre-K teachers, but all of the amazing teachers out there can uh, see this video. If you are interested in following me on any of my social media pages, make sure you check out the link below. And I hope you guys can find the beauty in every day.